In this video, I'm going to take you through a beginner's guide to the Kraken Exchange, and I'll show you how to deposit your assets, buy and sell your crypto, as well as how to withdraw from the platform. And for more information on Kraken, please check out everybithelps.co.uk. Kraken Exchange is a San Francisco-based cryptocurrency exchange that was founded in 2011. The platform enables users to trade more than 50 digital assets in seven different fiat currencies, meaning that unlike some other crypto-to-crypto -crypto trading platforms, you can deposit the likes of USD, GBP or Euros and use these to buy or sell Bitcoin, Ethereum or other cryptocurrencies. Since its launch in 2013, Kraken is considered one of the biggest and most trusted cryptocurrency exchanges, and it's used by more than 5 million traders, institutions and authorities around the world. With Kraken, you can create trades with spot markets. You can trade top cryptocurrencies with up to 50x leverage with futures, and open larger positions with margin trading. Today, we're going to be focusing on a beginner's guide to spot trading, as futures and margin trading is slightly more advanced and out of the scope of this video. But if you're interested in finding out more about these, let me know in the comments below and I'll look to create further content. And Kraken are also building a better kind of crypto and Bitcoin bank for their clients, named Kraken Bank. And they've got a phase launched in 2021, rolling out to existing US Kraken clients first, and they've already opened a Wyoming-based crypto bank making them the first ever crypto company to be awarded a US state banking charter. Plus, you can also stake your crypto and fiat currencies with Kraken, with rates of up to 12% APY. And I've got a separate tutorial for that. So let's jump into the walkthrough now. And the first thing you'll want to do to get started is to create an account. And I've got a link in the summary below that you can use. You'll need to provide your name, date of birth, country and phone number for the most basic level. And if you'd like to use fiat currencies, like USD or Euros, you'll also need to provide additional support documents which will verify your identity. Now one of the first things that I'd recommend doing before you start trading or depositing funds into any exchange is to set up two-factor authentication just as an extra level of security. With Kraken, you can use the likes of YubiKey, which I personally use. And if you'd like to find out more about YubiKeys by Yubico, then you can check out my tutorial. So let's take a look at depositing our funds, which you can do within the funding tab at the top of the screen. And as I said earlier, you can deposit both fiat or cryptocurrencies to start trading with. If you can't see all of the crypto assets, you can use the show all assets tick box to show all of these, regardless if there's an active balance or not. If you want to deposit crypto onto the exchange, just click on to deposit beside the asset name. And one thing to mention here is the fact that Bitcoin is known as XBT on Kraken as opposed to BTC. The currency is exactly the same, however it's just the abbreviation that's different here. XBT is a new abbreviation for Bitcoin and it uses the International Standards Organization method. So on Kraken, just remember that this is shown as XBT. And if this is the crypto that you're depositing, you'll need to read their terms here and acknowledge the fact that Kraken is not responsible for any loss of coins sent to the wrong address. And you can create deposit addresses from here. Once the address has been created, you can copy the address or use the QR code to send your crypto across to. But I'm not going to go ahead with this as I want to deposit fiat currency into Kraken. And in my case, that's GBP. Funding your account with fiat currencies for trading can be done in a couple of different ways, including SWIFT, SEPA and domestic wire transfer. The option you select will be based on your location and preference, and there may be some fees or waiting times that apply. As an example, I'm depositing GBP, and I've got a few options here. If we just check out the fees, you'll see that I can use FPS or BAX for free deposits, and this will clear in between zero to three days. There's then options for CHAPS and SWIFT, which vary in terms of amounts, days, and minimum deposits.
Once you select your deposit type, you'll need to follow the instructions shown on screen and just ensure that when you send your funds that you do include the reference number shown on your screen as this will map together your bank transfer and your Kraken account. So I'm just going to go away now and transfer my funds across. And that took about 30 minutes to confirm in my account. From my dashboard, my GBP balance is now appearing. And it's got a little extra in there as I already had 62 pence. Plus I've also got a little bit of Bitcoin in my account already too. Now if we head across to funding, you'll see my pound sterling account is now showing my deposit and my total balance is updated in the top left hand side of the screen. So let's take a look at how we can start buying crypto with our deposit. And there's a couple of different ways that you can buy crypto with Kraken. First, you can choose the option to buy crypto at the top of the screen. And from here, you can buy, sell, or convert your crypto instantly. Simply enter the amount that you'd like to buy. Then choose the crypto that you'd like to buy from the drop-down list. Now the list here is a bit limited, and you'll definitely find more varied coins on the likes of Binance, but you'll have less fiat options there. Or, you can find more Ethereum-based tokens on decentralized exchanges such as Uniswap, but you will need to pay gas fees for your transactions, which are currently very high. Next, you'll have the option to pay with the balance that you have in your account or via a credit or debit card. If we take a look at buying with our GBP balance and preview, here we'll see the price that we're paying, the amount that we'll receive, and it shows me my fees in here, which are £1.48. So let's just take a look at those fees. So for instant buys, you can see that if we'd chosen car payment instead, we'd be paying a car processing fee here, which can work out to be pretty high. And if we were to continue with these orders, they would complete immediately at the price that's defined by Kraken. And if you wanted to sell your Bitcoin so that you can take in some profits, you simply just do the reversal of the order that we've just created. Then you choose the type of currency that you want to withdraw to, and again you'll be paying those fees here. Plus, you can easily convert from one cryptocurrency to another, making trading really simple. However, the fees here will certainly eat into your profits, and the fees are high because you're paying for the convenience. But not only are you paying quite high fees, but you're also not necessarily buying or selling at the best time for you. So next, I'm going to take you through trading so that you can define your price, plus you'll also get lower fees. I'll select trade at the top of the screen, and the first thing that we'll want to do is choose our market. This essentially dictates what crypto we want to buy or sell, and what with. So if we click onto the magnifying glass, from here, it shows us all the available markets for trading. So there's fiat currencies like USD, Euros or Canadian dollars, and crypto markets like Bitcoin and Ethereum. I'm going to click onto more and select GBP, as this is what I've deposited and want to trade with. It'll then show me all the available trading pairs, which essentially means which cryptos I can trade for using my GBP. And it will show me the current price, 24 hour change and volume. Once you have your pairing, you can choose to trade. The pair that I'm going to be selecting from here is Bitcoin, so XBT and GBP. When you select your market, the information at the top of the screen in black will change to the market that you've chosen. And you can also change the format and use their more advanced trading platform Kraken Pro from here too, which I'm going to cover in a separate tutorial. So we're on the new order tab here, and we're going to be looking at the simple interface for now. Then you can select whether or not you're buying or selling. We're going to take a look at buying first. And you can choose from two different types of orders from here, which are market or limit orders. And I'll explain the differences between these now. A market order is an order that will fill immediately at the best market price. Whereas a limit order allows you to define the price that you want to pay for your Bitcoin and this is great if you're not in a hurry and the price is currently high, as you can just wait for the market to hit the price that you're willing to pay and then your order will execute. So at the moment, 
I can see that the price of Bitcoin is currently £39,292.80. But what I'd prefer to pay is 39250 So I can enter that amount into here and say when the price hits that value, I want to buy £100 worth of Bitcoin. Or you can enter the equivalent into Bitcoin here too. And it will show you the estimated amount on the far right. So if I go to place my order, it will then show me my order details from here. And the price that we'll be paying in terms of fees using this method will depend on a few different things. Firstly, if you're a maker or a taker. So a taker is those that use that market order option as you're going to be taking what the current market price is. And a maker is someone who defines their own price that's not immediately matched by an order on the order book. In other words, you're making your own price. And this is what we're doing here with a limit order. And these fees will then reduce depending on your trading volume too. But if you're a beginner, you're probably going to be concentrating on the top line here and paying between 0.26 and 0.16%. When you place your order, any open orders that have not yet filled will appear under new and open orders. And you can cancel an order if it's still open. So if the market swings in the wrong direction, or for example, you might have made a mistake, you can cancel your order and try again, which I'm now going to redo at £39,270. And there are more intermediate and advanced order types that you can use within Kraken too. Where you can trade with leverage, you can choose when you'd like your order submitted, or under the advanced tab, you have further, more advanced order types, such as stop loss, take profit orders, etc., which then helps you to protect your losses. Plus, you also have order expiries from here. So that order is now complete. If I click onto the link, you can see that I've paid around 10 pence here, which is a lot cheaper than the earlier £1.48 that I would have been paying, having made the same trade earlier under Buy Crypto. And obviously, this is just a trade of £100. But if you're trading larger amounts, these fees definitely do add up. Then once you have your crypto, what you do with it is completely up to you. You can store it in a secure wallet, you can earn interest on it through staking, or you can swap it for another cryptocurrency. I'm going to show you how to withdraw crypto or fiat currency shortly. But first, I'm going to show you how to sell your crypto. So let's head back to trade. A new order and simple. Really what we're doing here is reversing our previous transaction and you'll want to make sure that you're in the correct market. I'll be selling my Bitcoin for GBP so I'm going to select that. And this time we're going to select sell. Now just before I get going, this isn't to show you how much profit I can make as I'm not a trader I simply buy and hold my crypto for the long term. This is just purely to show you the process of how to sell your crypto. And I'm obviously doing this immediately after my buy order, so it's unlikely I'm going to make anything here. I'll be creating a limit order again. So first, I'll put in the price that I'd like to sell my Bitcoin at. And I'll put this in at 39370 Then the amount of Bitcoin that I'd like to sell when the price hits that value. And it will show you the amount in GBP on the far right. Then you can sell your XBT for GBP. Once the order is complete, you can then withdraw your funds. And you can choose your withdrawal type from the drop down. If I select faster payments and scroll down here, you can see that I will be charged a fee of £1.95. And there are some minimum amounts here. And these amounts and fees will vary depending on your location and the withdrawal type that you've selected. I can add my account information here of where I'd like that sent to. Once you've entered that, you can then save it and review and proceed with your withdrawal. Just be aware though, that all first time fiat deposits will result in a temporary 72 hour withdrawal hold on the account. Now, if you hadn't sold your Bitcoin earlier and you wanted to withdraw this to the safety of a hardware wallet 
such as a ledger or a treasure. That's what I'm going to show you now. So from your funding tab, choose withdraw besides the crypto asset that you'd like to withdraw. Then you'll need to add and confirm the crypto address that you're withdrawing to. So let's add address. First, you can give the address a description. Then add your address, which I'm going to copy across from my secure wallet and then paste that in. And you'll then need to save this address. You'll then be prompted to confirm the withdrawal address from your associated email account. Once confirmed, if I choose to withdraw again, I can then select my newly added address and enter the amount that I'd like to withdraw. And you will be charged a fee here, which will depend on the type of crypto that you're withdrawing. And as you can see, the amount here currently equates to around five or six pounds, or about eight dollars, which is a little bit high. But that now completes how you can use Kraken to buy and sell your crypto. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today. And if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and step-by-step -step guides. Thanks, and I'll see you soon.